Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on season five, episode two of my Solar Opposites reaction series. This episode is called The Never Ending Honeymoon Story, and let's get watching. Come on, you guys know what a honeymoon is, right? What? Of course we do. How dare you? Piss yourself until you die, Kevin. If there's anything we know, it's what a bloody honeymoon is. According to Wikipedia, a honeymoon is an uninterrupted newlywed <gasps> vacation. We're doing special husbands only time and Wikipedia says we can't be interrupted. Ah! Ah! I tried playing softball and I underhand pitched too fast. Sorry pal, I can't help oh you because my god. Oh my god. the solar opposites are Somebody doing on a honeymoon. Them. They stepped on way out. All right, let's make this quick. <laughs> I'm late for my other job. The sign. If you fail, I swear I'll make sure you get held back a year. No! We can't hang with the younger kids. They're intimidating as hell. Those bitches were raised on euphoria. Ah! <laughs> Please, we'll do anything. You two have to take care of this bag of sugar as if oh. it were a baby for an entire week. They already have the pupa, which they actually don't do a very good job <laughs> taking care of, so. I don't want a sugar baby. I want a sugar daddy, or at least a sugar legal guardian. And it's rude to assume that just because we're aliens, we have the technology to bring things to life. Uh-huh. Tell it to Principal Cook's living car. Oh, that's it. Good car. Get the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that was us. Was that from last season? I don't remember this at all. Oh my. It's so cute. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. You have one week to keep it alive. Nothing beats Alanis Morissette's jagged little resort, eh? Canadian Reddit won't shut up about it. They have the best gin and isn't it itonics in the province. <laughs> Why don't we run around and stress test this shit so we can see how much fun stuff we can get? <laughs> Only if we 69.5 first. 0.5? What's the 0.5? Hey, those oh. are my french fries. We're on our honeymoon. Oh, <laughs> I'll get you truffle oil. <laughs> oh my god. Beach Moon Hotties here. This <gasps> is our spa day now. But we're on our honeymoon too. Oh, oh. shit. Checkmate. Oh, oh, oh no. Ow, Want JK7 somewhere else? They literally have three kids in the house right now. The sugar sack, the pupa, and the robot. You should definitely enjoy it while it lasts. What on earth does that mean? Honeymoons are oh. only like a week. What? <laughs> it's right there on Wikipedia. How am I supposed to go back to underwear without newlywed cans? The honeymoon gives us a pass for <laughs> being decent and careful. If the honeymoon only lasts a week, then I just have to extend the week. Corvo, you've gone oh. honey mad. That doesn't make any sense. Nothing like a good old progenitor, am I right? Progenitors were the ancient aliens who created the solar system. Ah, yes, the solar system. I know it well. You're an alien oh, from space. How do you honey. not know what a solar system is? I'm more of a sexy Flash Gordon type alien. Damn right you are. <laughs> okay. Yo. These primordial geniuses really knew oh. how to design a control room. Eat some ass, Marie Kondo. Oh, look, these two died fucking. They all did, I think. They oh. locked the orbit into 52 weeks to complete a full solar revolution. But if we increase the circumference of the orbit a little larger. Corvo. I love it when you understand what I'm saying. It hurt my brain. Now let's get out of this dusty <laughs> sex tomb and go get more free stuff. <laughs> I'll just slide in a new day called uh, Blur Day right at the end there. Blur Day. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Blur Day. <laughs> Looks like a couple more days were added to the week. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, this is the longest week How of their lives. So long? I don't know, but I'm so tired. Oh. Sugar baby, no. Bad sugar baby. <gasps> it's been like 50 days. I can't do this anymore. It's all so your fault for bringing the make alive Ray to school. <laughs> He's been trying to throw JK Simmons out for days, but no one's picking up the trash. Is the robot's name JK Simmons? JK Simmons? What did he say? Can we please let Sugar Baby watch something sweet and chill and mildly educational? How about the Great British Bake Off? Those snaggletooth colonizers uh, could throw anyone to sleep. I love that show. We're making a single pancake. Mm. Ah. Wow. 
Why is everyone frozen? Maybe we're gonna miss it. Its gravitational pull is already affecting us. We've blown too far from the sun, Terry. The honeymoon is over. What does that mean? It's what people say about nasty couples who've been married for a while and hate each other. They start to see the ugly parts of their spouses they can't unsee. That's why the divorce rate is like 4.5 out of 5. If we can fuck with the Earth's orbit, we can fuck with marriage statistics. Honey, I am here for the tough times. I want to see your ugly parts. I do too. If y'all haven't already seen the ugly parts of each other, I'm scared. <laughs> <gasps> oh, there it goes. It's the baking show. Look what they're using. <gasps> While we've been resting, Sugar Baby was watching them destroy his friends and family. How do these work on cement? Shut up, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you need to keep track of your real baby. Harry Potter whistle. Friendship has blossomed. Oh, friend. <laughs> Oh god, we're gonna have to spread our flaps and use our smell coals. What? I've never shown anyone my smell coal. We're gonna see the ugly parts of each other and we'll be okay. I don't know. Terry, I love all of you. Uh, okay, fine. Oh no! It stinks, okay? Hey, th th that's normal. I showed you mine. It's your turn. Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the f <laughs> The polar bears are gonna be okay. Yes, but we also return climate change. Oh, the <sighs> polar bears are not gonna be okay. <laughs> no. ASMR of sexy Pokemon names. Charizard. <laughs> Squirtle. <laughs> Chickly. <laughs> oh my god, it's teeth! Did you spend wakeless days caring for something that exhausted you, didn't listen, and eventually ran away to pursue something you didn't approve of? You bet with a capital B, Miss Frankie. Then your parents. I'm worried he's gonna do a murder on you. Do a murder. That's one of my favorite Jesseisms. Everyone, grab your sugar. <laughs> Corvy, I'm having VIP withdrawal. Am I important? We did the right thing. We have all we need to feel special. Cuties. I should have known that a Solar Opposites Honeymoon episode would be nothing short of pure chaos. But oh my gosh, the part where Terry and Corvo showed each other their flaps or their something holes, whatever they were called, was so unexpected and gross and funny. I had said that if we hadn't seen the worst of Terry and Corvo, I would hate to see what that is. And I was right. I'm also amazed that after five seasons of this show showing me that Terry and Corvo are really a disaster, they're really not good people, I somehow still find them so adorable. Like when they were saying they were gonna prove the divorce statistic wrong and seeing them cuddle and spoon together, I still just find them so cute. I loved the play on words with Sugar Baby in this episode. Truly. Truly not surprised that Jesse and Yumulak did not make good parents. We've seen the way they take care of the people in the wall. But I did love the reference to The Great British Baking Show because I love that show. So seeing it pop up in such a pivotal way in this episode was really fun. Also the teacher's sexy Pokemon ASMR was cracking me up. That was probably the other highlight in this episode for me along with um, Terry and Corvo's whatever that was. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And that is a regular calendar week, not one that includes blurred day or globber day. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.